Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the phone if you have limited uh, hand or mobility motion. And uh, so let's see what we can do through voiceover and dictation and writing in notes. Of course, whatever we do in notes would be great for any app like IA Writer or Word or Pages. Hey Siri, turn on voiceover. Okay, I turned on voiceover. Hey Siri, open notes. Notes, folders, back button. So what I want to do first is, what I always teach kids is just touch the top of your screen. So even if you only have one finger, and I have changed the accessibility uh, mode to touch typing mode so I can press and hold to do things for double tapping. So let's just move down. Sir, stain for the GR, 9 slash 5 slash 8, ibuprofen, 9 slash 4 slash 18, softener, 8 slash 2 slash 18. Okay. Let's Andre open so softener, and which you have... Actions available. Press and hold. No, smooth move. And you actually Body. have to let go of your fi two-finger tap Natural. to stop voiceover from chatting at you but you have to press, hold, and then lift up your finger in order to make that read. Two fingers swipe down. No, smooth move, fungicide, bed rails, new okay. line, skilled blades, new line, apple chips, blueberry food, plastic, Two finger, pens, milk, tap down, no. stops them Dip. from talking. Text. Okay. Hey Siri, open notes. Folders. Back button. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go down to the writing mode. Now the kids, what you do is you teach them the navigation. You have them use one finger and go all over your page uh, to discover what it is, but always start at the top and move straight down the page. The kids are going to learn that the writing mode or make a new note is going to be down at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Just have them place the finger because we're working with blind kids. Softener. They can just touch the page and then just start moving their finger down. Next time at the, how okay, to they go can from find the edge the of the Four iPhone slash five and then just go down. Note button. Okay. note button, press hold and then new release. Okay. Note. Press hold Text then release. Is editing. Character okay. mode. Insertion point at start. Return. So we're going to go ahead and go to dictation Space. now. Dictate. Okay, dictate. Double tap to start dictation. Double tap, but we're going to press, hold, finished. and let go. Press, hold, let go. Denise Robinson, new line. Spelling lesson, new line, new line. Cat is spelled C A T, new line. Dog is spelled D O G, new line. Cat is spelled C A T, new line. Horse is spelled H-O-R-S-E, new line. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow, period, new line. House is a noun. It is a place where I live, period, new line. Dogs are so fun to love on, as are cats, period, new line. Press Inserted hold, Denise Robinson. and it stops. Two fingers, is spelled tap, cat. Dog is spelled dog. Cat to is stop spelled from cat. talking. Horse is spelled horse. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so now let's say we want to do some editing. So, uh, example, cat. You've got your rotor. You want it to be, it's faster to move it on words. So just Characters. turn your rotor. Characters. Words. Okay, those are going to be words. I heard words, but I saw characters, so let's see. Lesson. Body. Oh, good. Words. System font. Lesson. Is. Okay. Is. Now, we want to go ahead and insert a word there, because it needs to be cat is spelled. Is. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go down. Cat. Dictate. Press hold. Let go. Cat. Space. Now. Cat. You want to combine this with a braille display so you can actually read what is going on, so you can actually hear whether there's going to be additional spaces or not. Words is probably the easiest part to dictate on. You, of course, can turn your rotor to characters and go one character at a time. It's 
It may and or may not take longer, because remember, you're going to have your child no. place the hand cat up, is spelled cat. and they're Body. going to read it. So do cat is spelled cat. Dog is spelled dog. Okay. Cat is spelled cat. Horse is spelled horse. So they can do it one line at a time to read with their finger, and then when they're ready to edit, they're going to flick their finger. Spell cat dog is spelled dog. Spell. And move Tomorrow. one word at a time. Okay. Dog is spelled dog. Cat is spelled cat. Horse Two is fingers spelled stops them from talking. Of course, it's going to take a little uh, practice to do it. Uh, and of course, as they move down to go to their I'm keyboard, to it's going to move it. I it's no big deal. J -N okay. So let's go ahead and send this. Okay, there's done. You can immediately stop it, but we want to go ahead and email it. Okay, once again, you're going to be teaching your student this. So double tap, so press hold, let go. Okay, put your finger down. Here we go. Just tap mail button. Draggable mail button. Okay, draggable. press hold, let go. Mail button. Draggable. And double tap and hold. Try it again. Mail, press and hold button, and hold. Draggable. Two. And it opens. Text field. D two. Okay. Text field. Is that it? So you have to press to and edit. hold. Yep, because it's double tap. Two. Text field. Is editing. Word mode. Add. Now, if you drag your finger down, you'll notice you lose focus of that. It doesn't matter. Romeo, so go ahead and start. Press, she's going to find lessons. Press hold. Let go. D R. Romeo. E. Press hold. Echo. Mo finished. Mo e. And I will tell you that speech dictation will actually do this also. So F you can G see how it's y moving along, but now it's going to look for the DE. Okay, press hold, let go, and it inserts. Okay, and at this Denisa point, Robinson, all the lesson is in lesson. here for the Denise teacher. Robinson, Let's go ahead and go up to send. Text send. Okay, and the stu you'd have to teach the student all these places. Press hold, let go. Okay, and it's sent off. So you can actually ask Siri to open a new note or go down to new note, press hold, let go. Double return. Okay, and now you've got a new note. Go ahead and find your dictation. Press hold, let go. Double tap. This is a new note and we are dictating even more, period. New line. Press hold, let go. Okay. So those are, and highly just move, have the child move around, press, hold, let go, so they get the idea how to do letters. Moving insertion point. Finished moving insert cat G. Cat G G. Okay. H J U I O P O. Move O. K N space. Press. So that Picture. just gives you an idea of how D. to use dictation. Uh, with voiceover, with limited finger movements uh, or abilities, but with practice, the kids learn it very well. And, and of course, go ahead and go up. The done. Button. Done button. Share node. Share node. And you, and of course, it gives you the option immediately sharing and what all. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand how to do uh, touch typing accessibility. Hey Siri, open accessibility. Let's take a look at the settings for accessibility. Settings. Okay, so here we go. Vision. Voice. Zoom. Voice over. Off. Voice over. Press On. hold. Let go. Button. Voice over. Accessibility. Okay. Voice. Swipe. Speak. Verbosity. Button. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use Button. my three fingers and swipe up. Rows 5 to 15 of 17. Okay. I Ty move down. Type modifier keys. Typing feedback. Typing, typing style. style. Touch See that? Typing. Press hold. Button. Let go. You want touch typing Selected. mode. Touch activated typing. in order to do the touch hold and uh, allow that so the kids don't have to do double taps. A lot of kids have difficulties with that, that double tap, and actually I say kids, a lot of adults do uh, also. So if you have limited ability to do that, you don't need to do it. Touch typing works great. And so that's how you make that accessible. Okay, I hope that helps.